Happy Friday, October the 4th, 1 Peter 2, 9 and 10. But you are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for his possession, so that you may proclaim the praises of the one who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Once you were not a people, but now you are God's people. You had not received mercy, but now you have received mercy. See, I believe the final message of these two verses and our consideration of who we are in Christ is to understand God has shown us mercy. Once we were wandering and lost among the people of the world, God chose us and called us and, and we responded to his call. In our response, we received something special. We receive a new identity as God's people. Once we were not a people, but now we are God's people. Our identity is an identity of design and purpose. We recognize who we are and, and what God has accomplished in designing us. Uh, but there is a purpose in his design. He has a purpose and a plan for us. We are first praisers. Now, when I typed this in the devotional, I had a red line under it because praisers is not a word. So I know it's not technically a word, but if it describes what we do, then I'm going to use it. We are praisers. We praise God. Second, we have purpose as God's people to live lives that display the wonder of God. Our lives are to be a testimony of who God is and, and what he has done. You see, creation... Uh, Creation announces the glory of God and, and our lives are supposed to specifically announce the glory of God. You see? And so when we look at creation, we can see the wonder of it all. When an unbelieving, lost world sees our lives, they should see the wonder of God in us. See, that's a cool thing. So as we continue these weeks of definition of who we are, who the gathering is, who am I? We understand we're supposed to live out God's purpose plan for our lives. See you next week.